whenever the couples are not able to conceive naturally, they are advised to undergo certain evaluations which uh, include a lot of tests and after all those tests only we can decide which kind of a treatment is better suited for which couple. Usually two kinds of treatments are given to the couple as options. One is intrauterine insemination or IUI and the second one is IVF or in vitro fertilization. IUI, what is this technique? It is also known as intrauterine insemination. In this technique, when the male partner's sperm count is between 10 to 15 million per ml or when the couple is suffering from unexplained infertility, a condition in which there is no known cause for infertility, these are the two main conditions in which couple is suggested IUI. During this technique, the female partner is given either the medications or the injections for ovarian stimulation and at the time of ovulation, the, they have given an injection for a rupture and after that, the male partner's semen sample is taken and it is processed under the machine and the best sperms are selected which are then injected into the female's uterus through a catheter. In this technique, fertilization happens inside the female body similar to the natural pregnancy and that's why it is considered similar to a natural pregnancy. In this, the success rate for the best uh, known and a good causes patient is basically 15 to 20 percent per cycle. IVF, in vitro fertilization. This technique is usually suggested to the patients in which the male partner has the sperm count less than 10 million per ml or in which there is tube blockage in the female partner. During this technique, fertilization that is meeting of the sperm and egg happens outside the body in the lab and it is one of the most common use artificially assisted reproduction technique. In this technique, we give uh, either the injections or the medications to the female partner for 10 to 12 days for producing the eggs which are more in amount as compared to what are being produced in a natural cycle and under general anesthesia they are the, these eggs are retrieved from the female body and they are made to fertilize with the sperms obtained from the semen sample from the male partner inside the lab. Once they have fertilized these embryos are monitored very closely in the lab for through to three days and after that they are transferred back into the female's uterus. In this technique, females are being given injections for 10 to 12 days to produce eggs which are more in quantity as compared to the natural cycle. Under appropriate anesthesia, these egg is retrieved from these patients and taken out in the lab from where they are meant to fertilize with the sperms of the semen sample obtained from the male partner and hence the embryos are formed. These embryos are then closely monitored for their development in the lab for two to three days, after which they are transferred into the female uterus for the further growth. After 14 days of this procedure, we do a blood test or a urine test to confirm if there is a pregnancy or not. This procedure carries a higher success rate as compared to IUI of around 40 to 50 percent per cycle in a patient who are of older age, as well as for young patients, it might reach up to 70 to 80 percent. Why IVF is better? IUI is less costly but less successful, whereas IVF is costly but it is much carries much higher success rate. IUI is suitable for patients who have normal female partner, whereas IVF can be a cure for patients who have both male and female problems. IUI is suitable for patients who have sperm count between 10 to 15 million whereas IVF can be done for the patients who have counts less than 10 million per ml also. I, IUI can be not be done for the patients who have already undergone menopause whereas IVF can be used to achieve pregnancy in these patients. We cannot assess the quality of embryos during an IUI cycle but that can be assessed during an IVF cycle. Having undergone multiple IUIs can be exhausting both financially, physically and mentally whereas IVF provides a higher success rate in much less hospital visits. Both the techniques have their own pros and cons. Therefore, we decide the treatment for the couple based on their initial evaluation and the most probable success rate.